Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of advice on how to breed guppies for profit. Now, this has been a concept that's been talked about a lot in the aquarium hobby lately, or over the past couple of years. And um, I wanna give you guys a bit of advice and a bit of knowledge on how it actually works and whether or not it's profitable. So make sure you guys stay around to the end of the video to listen to everything that I have to say. Uh, I'm gonna try and give you guys as much information as possible that I know about this and the most accurate information that I have about this. So. Um, if you're new to the channel and haven't already seen some of this content that I make, uh, I make lots of aquarium related information videos as well as entertaining ones, so please consider subscribing. So the basic business model for breeding guppies is that you buy a cheap aquarium uh, and you put, pretty much just buy some fancy guppies, you put them in the aquarium, let them breed, and then when they grow up, you can sell them for a profit. Now, it's not that simple. Um, I've tried doing that before and it doesn't really work because uh, you have to, there's a lot of overheads and uh, it's not, it doesn't quite work that easily. So basically what you'll need to start breeding up is for profit is obviously a cheap aquarium. You don't want to buy uh, an expensive aquarium. I know that over in the US, uh, I'm from Australia, but in the US um, they have like a, a dollar a gallon sales at the pet stores, I think PetSmart or whatever. And that's a good opportunity to snatch up something new and something cheap to start breeding stuff in. A lot of people also go to Craigslist and uh, Gumtree in Australia, which is really good. And you can buy lots of cheap aquariums there and you gotta make sure that they don't leak or anything, but um, that you get a cheap aquarium. I got these two for $10 each in Australia, which is an absolute bargain. But, uh, so you get the cheap aquarium and you fill it up with water and then you find a fancy guppy for your region. Now, a lot of regions, a lot of people, a massive mistake that people make is that they buy a guppy that's already easily found in the region and that no one really is sought out, like it's not a guppy that's not sought after. You want something that people haven't seen from your area and that a lot of aquarists around you would pay to buy. Now, it also has to be something that's more expensive because if we're selling our guppies for a dollar to two dollars each, we're not getting really any uh, money for what effort we've put into water changes and feeding them every morning and taking care of them. So you gotta find something that isn't from your area that people are actually gonna wanna buy. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you need something that people are actually gonna want. That's all you need. And you need something that's gonna be more expensive. So get that guppy, find out what it is. I don't know what it was. I got these red tuxedos and I uh, haven't seen many of them around, but I'm not trying to breed them for profit. I'm trying to make a pure strain. So that's a bit different to what you guys wanting to do but find that fish, that holy grail. Basically then after that, what you're gonna wanna have is a, an aquarium. So you put them in and then you just take care of them and let them do their thing. Uh, set up an aquarium like the one I have up here and just let them breed and breed and breed and breed. And then you're gonna wanna put up your ad on Facebook and uh, Gumtree or whatever you're using Craigslist and start selling those uh, for, I don't know, $8 a piece, $10 a piece for very, very nice quality guppies, and you're gonna to have to take really good care of them, but that's basically the main gist of it. It's um, probably one of the easiest fish to breed for profit in the aquarium hobby. Uh, a lot of people say that like discus and other things like angelfish, they're, they're not quite the same because they take a lot of effort and you don't get really, you work for like $2 an hour. But with guppies, it doesn't take that long. I mean, I'm not gonna say that you can, de you definitely can't quit your day job and start breeding guppies, but um, if you set up one of these breed for profit tanks that I have, um, done in the past, then you can sure, for sure um, supplement your hobby, uh, the foods, all, all the costs onto the one tank and pretty much enjoy the hobby for free. So that's pretty much all the knowledge I have to spill onto you guys. I hope you guys really learned something from this video. Um, I'm trying to give you guys all the uh, beginner knowledge and make this hobby just a little bit easier for you um, every single time you watch a video. So uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. If there's something you want to see as well, just leave it in the uh, comments below and I'm sure that I'll uh, try and make that video for you guys but uh, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.